Mm. Chef Giovanna, tell us about today's challenge. Ah, oh, well, you know, it's the first time I'm participating for the embass in the Honduras Institute. Mm -hmm. So I'm making some dishes that are typical from Honduras. And what um, are these? this is like, oh, this was I haven't finished yet, okay. but I'm making oh, uh, tres leches to dessert, my habanero salsa, and enchiladas, which is, I'm getting ready to assemble one to display. Mm -hmm. And this is the item that I serve in my restaurant. So. Okay, and and why did you choose this uh, for the challenge? Because it was typical, something typical is different, and um, when my customers really like the restaurant, so I thought might as well try it out. So. What's the most important ingredient in this? Well, the thing is, well, this this salsa is called chimol. Is that spicy? Yes, habanero salsa. Ah. So that's how I named my restaurant because oh, of my, my signature see. sauce. Oh, I yes. see. Yes. And basically, what are the ingredients? Um, just onions, a lot of um, spices. Um, tomatoes, and all fresh ingredients, habaneros, and things like that. And you eat it with uh, chicken, with fish? You put it in everything. You uh -huh. can eat it with chimol and chips, you can use chips, you can put it in all the food and the uh -huh. rice, everything. Yeah. What's important in the Honduras food? Well, this is like typical Honduran food, yes. and actually you see this, anafres. They're very uh, made by indigenous women in Honduras. And uh, people serve them, of course, with fire and put the food in them. So, mm -hmm. yes. What about the calories and the health uh, well, benefits? Well, these ones are very healthy because yes. it's all fresh ingredients. And, well, the dessert is a dessert. So, this you know, is the dessert. This looks so good. So the enchiladas are corn, gluten-free, mm -hmm. are um, and then all natural ingredients. So it's, it's good for you. Thank you. Good luck, Chef. Thank you.